My heart is broken about what went on. Like, it doesn't, cause we're supposed to feel safe in a school environment. So, to be honest, I don't have much to say. But my heart is broken for that person. It's not okay. I think legal actions should be taken, cause I heard people saying nothing is being done, and that's not okay. Things like this should not be ignored. The way that the university has handled this matter is very appalling, because. Um, they have tried to, to hide this from us, people who live in this residence, for three weeks now. And this girl tried to take her life because of what happened to her. And only when the students heard about it and brought it forward was this matter actually discussed with us. And I think that is something that is totally out of line because in the same residence, when a student loses their, their iPad, we get emails alerting us and telling us to, to, to lock our things away and to be more careful. So why not do the same thing if, if, if one of our sisters has been raped in, in, in the very same residence by a student? We want them to explain to us how they have justified having this girl live in the same block as, as the perpetrator for the past three weeks and claiming that they're supporting her. One thing that the university, when we came here in first year, they encouraged um, rules and against people who are sexually harassed. There was actually one time where a lecturer, I think, was punished for sexual harassment. But then when it comes to a point where a student is raped in their place of residence and then nothing happens, it actually questions how the university can just let go of such. Maybe they're not into investigations of it, but I think they should better look at it because we also want safety as females in this university.